Bubblegum Bear, written by Melanie Joyce, illustrated by Steve James. There's nobody quite like Bubblegum Bear. He's bubblegum pink and he doesn't care. Bubblegum isn't like his other bear friends. He doesn't follow fashion or keep up with trends. Bubblegum Bear can't dance or sing, but that doesn't matter. He just does his own thing. And even though it sounds like he might be in pain, everyone cheers and cries, please sing again. Bubblegum Bear doesn't worry at all that he can't swing a racket or score with a ball. It doesn't bother him that he can't run fast and at the end of a race is usually last. Because Bubblegum Bear just likes taking part. Whatever he does, he gives it his heart. And if things don't work out, well, that is okay. Bubblegum Bear won't let it spoil his day. If it's cloudy and dull with rain pouring down, Bubblegum Bear won't grumble or frown. He'll put on his boots to play outside and all his friends follow to the big swirly slide. Bubblegum Bear never has any doubt that after the rain, the sun will come out. He'll pack up some snacks and go on a hike or maybe whiz off on his red shiny bike. Life should be fun, cries Bubblegum Bear, as he bounces up and down and flies through the air. Bubblegum Bear is as happy as can be, playing at pirates sailing out to sea. And if Bubblegum's friends are feeling sad, he hugs them and says, it's not that bad. They have so much fun playing happily together. His friends think he is the best bear ever. Bubblegum says, there's nothing special about me but he has a gift that everyone can see because Bubblegum cares and is always kind too. So everyone says, Bubblegum, we love you. Bubblegum Bear always does his best. And at the end of the day, when it's time to rest, he sleeps peacefully because there is no one to compare with the lovely, cuddly, pink Bubblegum Bear. The end. Thank you for listening and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and come join us for more stories.